guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video for you guys on this nice day today's video is another bad girls related video natalie nunn in red finally had their conversation and i'm about to recap part one for y'all it's a lot of back and forth going on and people acting like they tough <laughs> talking like they tough like just talk too much talking over people i'm just gonna sum up what was said you already know how my videos go down. Only stay focused on the main shit. I can't go in and explain every little jab that they threw at each other. Too much. <laughs> Just go watch the fucking show. Alright, so y'all know how the conversation go in the beginning. It's the two people that's having a conversation. Having a conversation with their entourage, their party. So I'm going to start with Red View. So Red View... She starts off by saying that she thinks that Natalie is a good businesswoman. Like, she see that she really chased that money. I guess there was an incident on Bad Girls Season 13. I guess they wasn't getting paid enough, so Natalie asked for more money. So Red said that she see how Natalie actually, like, <laughs> she know what the fuck she doing <laughs> in this TV shit. But she thinks that she's a bad friend overall red said that natalie wanted her on baddies atl season two and saying you need me you need me low-key natalie do need her what you mean i don't know about y'all but i think red would be good on baddies atl i don't know i just love red she's a tv personality that i like seeing but then again her personality could become bullying loud ass annoying ass vibe so i feel like she fit I definitely feel like she fit. I'm thinking of a more production way because that's what I study and that's what I work on. Then Red starts to talk about the incident with her biting Natalie's arm. Natalie was saying some personal shit, pulling personal cards. She didn't want to bring it up. Girl, you should have said what was the personal shit so we could know. You just leave it in the ad. Oh, I'm not going to say it because it was years ago when I'm not about to pull up old shit. Like... No, just say what made you run up and fight her. And she felt some type, so she decided to run up. Rocky was on her own type of time, and, like, she she wanted to beat her ass, too. So Rocky did it first. Red just said that she ran up before security can come. I don't respect that at all. How you gonna jump in after a girl just got done beating her ass? Y'all could say that Natalie deserved it or whatever. She was talking shit. But if you want to be a real bitch, you gonna fight a bitch one-on-one. You not gonna jump in after she just got done fighting a bitch and she's trying to... Like, let's be real. Square the fuck up. So yeah, Red jumped in and she said that Natalie had her hair and she wouldn't let go. So she bit her. I can understand that. But... At the end of the day, you know you wrong. You know you wrong, so just say it. I hate people that can't admit that they're wrong. I don't know. I just never heard Red say that she was wrong to Natalie. She's always saying that she was wrong to other people to impress them. If you feel like, if you really feel bad about the situation and put this internet beef and all the fans opinions to the side if you a real bitch apologize she also said that after they had that fight natalie called up her po officer and told her or him what happened to get her in trouble probably send her back to jail and that oxygen lawyers got involved but ultimately she was just under contract so she couldn't get in trouble that's what she kept saying don't ask me what the fuck that be. She just said she was under contract. Then she said that Natalie need different people around her. And I agree with that. I feel like Natalie always needs someone good around her. Someone famous. Someone like with money or just popular around her. Like you never seen her with the same group of bitches. She's just a mixy ass bitch. Natalie is a mixy ass bitch. I can't be around no bitch like that. And then Red Shades Jayla talking about how there was a pop-up shop type thing and Jayla saw her there. Jayla was acting like a fan to put it in like short terms. I feel like Red brought that up to be shady, but I feel like she wasn't trying to be disrespectful in that way, calling her a fan. It was her girlfriend and that other bitch that she was with saying that Jayla was a fan. I don't think so. I think Jayla just thought, oh, that's another bad girl, so let me go link up with her type shit. So the last important thing I should bring up is that Red showed text messages of Natalie trying to be her friend or trying to be nice. Now we about to get into Natalie's view. 
Okay, she, I just want to say off rip, Natalie is doing too much yelling. Natalie loves to get loud when she's not in the room with the person she's talking about. Once she get into the room with the person that she's talking about, she's all quiet and plain innocent and shit. Like, yeah, she's saying her little blowbacks, but let me not, let me not. We not there yet. <laughs> we not there yet. All Natalie kept saying is, Red asked for this, Red asked for this. She posted up on Instagram, calling me out. And that Red got herself banned. She bit me in NBC. Don't want to work with someone that bites people. Da, 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 she just... I'm about to tell y'all the most important shit that she said. She said five valid points that's it and then natalie shows jayla and the chef her bite mark y'all i don't care i would be so mad if a bitch bite me like that if you could still see the mark like how you saw it on her arm i would be motherfucking pissed bitch she also said that she had three surgeries um, she includes some glass that she got into her foot. I can believe the surgeries on a bite mark, but that glass in the foot, I feel like she just added that in. Like, who cares? And then she brings up the fact that Jacob said that, you go get that bitch. So I guess Natalie and some other bad girls went to Pride Week. Supposedly, Red walked into the crowd that Natalie was, like, facing. <laughs> So, Natalie is calling her, you know, a fan. She was in a crowd, like, you're no real bad girl type shit. And honestly, I don't like that. Red went live to talk about Natalie, and she said that she was a book for that hosting. So, she still wants a pride. Red is gay. So, Natalie calling her a fan in a crowd. I don't like that. Jayla had the nerve to ask her, so, what you gonna do? Are you gonna accept her apology, or what? <laughs> And Natalie said no. You can see that Natalie came to motherfucking fight and Red came to just That's it. I guess she didn't think Natalie would get her lick back <laughs> and she dressed to fight too She got her hair in a bun and got her t-shirt tied and shit and I'm, I got a bone to pick with that Y'all notice how every time we see her on TV or something. She's always wearing something baggy Natalie definitely do edit her photos. The one time she posted a video of whatever, she was dancing and you can see her full body. The next post is a picture of her with the same outfit on the same day and she looked in real skinny. I'm like, I caught this bitch. <laughs> so now we're done with the little conversations that they're having with their own entourage. Now we're about to get on with the conversation. Let me put this one down. It starts off with Red being the first person on scene. She's just standing there and she's, I don't know, she's just acting impatient. Just talking shit to camera crew. <laughs> so while Red was um just standing there, they show Natalie getting ready for her revenge. <laughs> right here so y'all can see what I mean. Y'all can tell Natalie works for Zeus. They really gave her like a quick 15 seconds getting ready to fight this bitch. Natalie really came to fight. So when Natalie finally come on scene, she acknowledges the production crew first. Talking about, oh, are we rolling? Like, I don't wanna... She's being annoying. She's just ignoring Red. Acting like she's not in the room. Even though it's a conversation. That's why Red was like, oh yeah, bitch, I'm in this room, da da da. You said I will never be in this room. Natalie was like, well, you asked to be here. You asked to be here. You said you wanted a conversation with me. <laughs> Red was like, why did you go live about me? Are you really mad about the bite mark? Like, are you really pissed? Or are you just doing this for attention? And that's what I think it is. Like, in my last video, I said this. It just seems like Natalie just want to prove a point. Like, she don't really care. Like, she's, like, trying to make it seem like, oh, she all badass, ready to fight this bitch, ready to get her for revenge. I don't feel like it's really like that deep down. She knows she don't really give a fuck. <laughs> she's just doing it for the ratings, the money, and the clout. I guess Natalie brought up something about tax bracket, and Red was like, are you even in your tax bracket? <laughs> like, Natalie, are you even living the life that you 
portray online? Are you really living that life? And that was funny as shit. I had to laugh at that. It's a lot of bickering going on in this conversation. It's like really nothing real. It's more red screaming out shit. Natalie is actually staying quiet for once. This is why I said, <laughs> this is why I said that Natalie likes to act tough when she's not in the room with the person. Yeah, she's saying shit back, calling her big and how she's a fan and you want money, you want clout, da da da. You sleeping on the ear mattress. Yeah, Natalie is saying her digs back. You can really tell when a person is picking their fights. Even though like they doing too much talking, I feel like they're not rushing into fight yet because they still have content to record they still have to record a conversation so they gotta do a little bit of talking but honestly it's getting annoying and then red was like oh you run a late bitch and natalie was like yeah bitch i do let you me tell you something that. you in my city today baby you and oh LA. you run LA, right? yeah bitch i do just so motherfucking confident like yeah bitch yeah bitch i do yeah, bitch, I do. I just keep saying red, 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 red. Like, red is saying, red is saying. Because that's where all the tea is coming from. She's the one that's stirring the conversation. Natalie is really just, like, responding and being quiet. She's just giving... She, it seems like she's just giving Red her, like, her clout at this moment. So she's not trying to get all rowdy and shit like she usually do with other people. Like she did with Sarah, um, Baddies ATL. Natalie was like, oh, you was a pedestrian in the crowd. <laughs> that was hilarious as fuck. Red go play a piano saying you old and you still on TV. You still talking about me, da 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 da, da trying to be funny. Um... Natalie said that you're still sleeping on an air mattress, so you need this, you need this. So Red was like, so why we here? What we about to do? And this is where I feel like the turning point is at. Red was like, oh, you're not getting no apology for the bite mark, for the glass, for nothing. Fuck you type shit. Please run up. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it was so good. Hell was it no, so bitch. Good? Was it good? Hell no. Did bitch, you not was know it so good? good? He kept was it so good? Was it so good? Yeah, oh, what's yeah, up? What's please up? Run what's up? up? Because oh, at the run end of the your day, ass up. Red, I'll punch you. Let me tell you something right now. So when she say she was hit off guard or whatever, she said, please run up. <laughs> so I don't I, I honestly don't want to hear people talking about oh red didn't expect this. Red should have been ready. I don't know why she underestimated Natalie. I I don't know why. But if you know Natalie has revenge <laughs> that she wanna do, be ready. Be ready. So it's your own fault that you got caught lacking. It's your own motherfucking fault. I don't care what nobody say. Like Red, she said, please run up. Natalie was like, oh, nobody wants to work with you and you're begging to be on season two because you need to get off that air mattress. Like, honestly, Natalie is not really saying much. Red is doing the most talking. She just kept bringing up shady shit. Like saying Jada told her that you would have a conversation with me for money. Said that Natalie said that Zeus worked for her. That she don't work for Zeus. That Zeus need her. So I think at this point Natalie is tired of Red. <laughs> like Red just babbling. So she starts to walk up on her. Red you know she's just she ready. She's just ready. So she started walking towards Natalie. And Natalie's backing up, but she swung. <laughs> please, are the bigger person. Please. Even though you clearly please, are the bigger person. Please. Bitch, I will beat your fucking ass off. Bitch, bitch. Beat your motherfucking ass off. I watched this two times. The first time, I thought, well, Natalie, you kind of snuck her. Because she was backing up. Like, acting scared. And then she just swung out of nowhere. But the second time around watching it, I'm seeing that red was ready at that point she seen that natalie was all up in her face now so she was ready to fight and she walked up on natalie honestly i don't think that any of the hits landed it came close like it probably like like rubbed up against her but was it like a full-on hit probably not the trailer though oh my god i can't wait for part two this was just to set off the tone like 
let me see where this go because i think it's actually about to be like different conversations like they about to separate for like what like 10 minutes and then come back 10 minutes then come back type shit like i want to see how this shit play out but yeah that's how i feel about part one be sure to come back for part two because i'm about to mm, we we finna talk about this i hope in part two they stop all this and it be more fights I'm tired of it. But yeah, if you guys want to see more Bad Girls Club related videos or more stoner or more me key videos, <laughs> then make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I'll just see you guys in the next one, okay? Later.